Did you know how to blend image like this using Mid Journey? How to create short videos using Mid Journey? How to get free fast image generation time in Mid Journey? Let's see how. Now you can upload many images to Mid Journey and make amazing one image by merging them. Let's see how. Type slash blend here. Then you can upload two images to those boxes. To add more image, select here and then you can choose image 3, image 4 or image 5. Blend command only works with up to 5 images. To use more than 5 images, we can use image prompts. I will tell you how to do that next. I am uploading these two images of a guy and a wolf for my PC. And then we can set image dimension if we want. We can choose between a square aspect ratio, portrait aspect ratio or landscape aspect ratio. For the best results, upload images that are the same aspect ratio as your desired result. Wow! The blend command has made an awesome image of a werewolf guy by merging my uploaded two photos. Did you know you can use image as a part of a prompt to influence a job's composition, style and colors? Also you can merge image by using this method. Let's see how. Type slash imagine like we normally do when prompting. And then copy and paste the link where the image is stored online. I took an image from Mid Journey itself for ease. You can do this with image anywhere on the internet. The link must be a direct link to an online image with an ending and extension like PNG, GIF or JPG. After adding the first image link, I copy and paste another image link like this. Then we can add a text prompt like this. And after the text prompt, we can add the parameters we want. I will tell you what the parameters are in next step. And you can see it generates awesome werewolf image influenced by image prompts that we gave before. Also, you can use an image prompt to generate image with consistent characters. I copied this girl's photo link, pasted it here as an image prompt and then add what I want to generate as a text prompt. You can see this image generated using the same girl in the base image. The chaos parameter determines how varied the initial image grids are. Let me explain it with an example. You can add this parameter by typing dash dash c space value at the end of your prompt. Chaos parameter accepts value between 0 to 100 and the default chaos value is 0. The lower chaos values generate more reliable similar images. The high chaos values will generate more unusual and unexpected results. You can see in the left side image that are generated using 0 as a chaos value, the generated image grids are mostly similar and more relevant to the prompt. In the right side image generated using 75 as the chaos value, the generated image grids are varied and have unexpected composition. In mid journey, you may notice that the aspect ratio of generated image is always 1 by 1. How to change it? By typing dash dash ar space the aspect ratio you want like this, you can change it easily. Using this parameter, you can generate image using any aspect ratio you want. With this parameter, you can generate cool patterns for fabrics, wallpapers, textures or whatever you want. To do this, type dash dash tile at the end of the prompt. Then Mid Journey only generates a single tile like this. You need to use a pattern making tool like this to develop whole pattern. Break your prompts into parts. By using a double colon tells the Mid Journey board to treat each part of the prompt as a separate instruction. For example, for the prompt spaceship, all words are considered together and the mid journey bot generates image of sci-fi spaceships. If the prompt is separated into two parts using double colon like this, both words are considered separately. Then the mid journey bot generates a sailing ship traveling through space. When a double colon separates a prompt into different parts, 
you can add the number after the double colon to tell the relative importance of each part to the mid journey box. In the example below, the prompt produced a sailing ship traveling through space. Changing the prompt to like this makes the word space twice as important as word ship. Midjourneybot generates images of space that have ship as a supporting element. Using these techniques, you can separate the prompts into any number of parts and give weights to those as you wish. The Midjourney board has been trained to generate image emphasizing artistic color, composition, and forms. The stylized parameter controls how strongly this training is applied. You can add dash dash space value at the end of the prompt to change this. The stylized default value is 100. You can add values between 0 to 1000. Low stylization values produce images that are closely matched the prompt but are less artistic. High stylization values create images that are very artistic but less connected to the prompt. The no parameter tells Midjourney bot what not to include in your image. You can type dash dash no space things you don't need in the image separated with commas like this at the end of the prompt. Then Midjourney doesn't include those in your image. Adding the dash dash style space row parameter to the end of the prompt can reduce the influence of the default mid-journey aesthetic. And it works well for advanced users who want more control over their image or need more photographic images. Make a short video using mid-journey. Sounds unfamiliar, right? But now, with the video parameter, you can create a short video of your initial image grid like this. Let's see how. Type dash dash video at the end of the prompt and generate. When a generation has finished, click the add reaction button here and select the envelope emoji. After that, the mid journey bot will send a link to the video to your direct message like this. Then, you can download the video by going to that link. Actually, it does exactly what its name says. Weird. Using this parameter, you can generate images that look weird, unexpected, and unique. To try this, type dash dash w and the value you want. This accepts value between 0 to 3000 and the default is zero. Every image in BitJourney has been generated with a seed number. You will get similar final image if you use the same seed number and prompt. Let's see how to use this creatively. You can find the seed number of an image by reacting with an envelope emoji like this. After reacting, you will get a direct message from the bot that shows the image's detail. Then you can copy the seed number like this. Now let's see how to generate new image, most like this image, using seeds. After the text prompt, you can type dash dash seed and paste the seed number of the base image we copied before. See both image grids mostly look similar. Did you know you can earn a free fast GPU hour daily by rating images? The only thing you have to do is go to midjourney.com and click the rank pass tab in the sidebar. Then choose image you like the most from each pair like this. The top 2000 daily image raters with the highest scores will receive an hour of free fast GPU time. If you are one of the top raiders, for the day, you will receive a direct message from the Midjourney bot. If you want to know about this kind of cool AI information, I suggest you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.